When you think about it, we're going all over the heavens looking for a planet with water, and we've never explored the water on our own planet. My name is Patrick Lahey and I'm the president of Triton Submarines. The wonder of a manned submersible is the fact that you can take virtually anybody on a dive underwater and show them things that they can't see any other way. And when you take people up and show them that and they see how vibrant it is and how colorful and how teeming with life it is, and it's the only way you're going to make somebody passionate by, by showing it to them, letting them see it with their own eyes. You can't do that any other way. How can you explain something like this? There's no sensible way of saying it. Something's just got to be experienced. We need an armada of them. We need hundreds of these submersibles out there. We need to get kids in there. We need to get scientists in there. We need to get government leaders in there to really connect with the ocean. Totally awesome. Really, words can't describe it. Un unbelievable experience. You have the whole world 360 view around you. It was just just amazing, amazing. I'm using that word a lot because it just came up and it's like, wow, mind blowing. The biggest thing that I think separates Triton subs from our competitors is the experience that, that's found in this building. As a group, we have more than 300 years of combined experience. That's powerful stuff. The driving factors behind all of our Triton designs is that they must be simple to operate, easy to maintain, reliable, and safe. That's at the core of everything that we do. Actually operating one of our submersibles is very simple. We've spent a lot of time and effort perfecting the interface between the controls and the pilot. You push the joystick forward, you go forward, you pull it back, you go backwards, left, right, up, down. Uh, it's not difficult. And that's part of the fun. I mean, part of the fun is being able to get in there and drive it and sort of play and, and enjoy yourself. We make it so that someone can do that. We also have done things to simplify the interface between the control and monitoring systems and the sub by centralizing the control of all of the sub's critical systems onto a single touchscreen interface. As part of a sale of any one of our submersibles is the implementation of a comprehensive training program, which at Triton consists of three steps. They will learn system familiarization, orientation, and operations where they learn about what makes the vehicle tick, how it works, how to repair it if it breaks. And the second tier of training is conducted in our simulator where we actually give them actual hands-on training on operating the submersible. Uh, it's a very important part of our commitment to our customers that if they have a problem with the sub, if they've got something that's not working correctly, if they need technical support or piloting and additional personnel, we provide it. Safety, as I say, is, uh, is something that's in, entrenched in everything that we do here. These vehicles are extremely safe. They're built to, to rigorous safety standards. There, there's never been a recorded fatality in an ABS class man submersible. All of our designs feature a transparent pressure hull. Not just partially transparent, but completely transparent. The reason that's important is because as far as we're concerned, the only truly great, memorable kind of a underwater experience is only possible from inside a transparent pressure boundary. The diving experience in a Triton is made even more compelling, not just by the transparent acrylic sphere, but it's also the careful placement of equipment inside the sub, the fact that you have nothing in the floor so you can look down and below you. These are all things that, that enhance the experience. It's incredible to just be able to see between your feet like that. It's, it's, it's a pretty awesome tool. Definitely want one of these things. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. You just felt like you were just right, going right through air. You're in the bubble, you're looking out, you're feeling like you've left Earth and you're into a new atmosphere. I think that experience there, you can't get any better than that. The reason for building yacht-based submersibles is because it's a perfect environment to operate uh, these type of craft. We've tried to make them as compact as possible without sacrificing either utility or comfort. The reason that's important because on a vessel, on any vessel, space is always at a premium. Uh, one of the things that's great about the Tritons is they've got a very spacious interior. A lot of room inside, you're sitting in a, in a comfortable leather seat in a place that has speakers with beautiful music playing, uh, air conditioning, you know, a cold drink if you wanted one, and uh, just basically a very nice environment. It's, it's amazing, very comfortable, it's air conditioned, um, you know, 
What a, what a neat way to uh, explore another world. I can honestly say this is the most comfortable sub I've ever been in. It's just a superlative piece of equipment. The only word I can think of to characterize it would be amazing. A, a kind of sexy sub, a kind of, for the first time, something that really accommodates engineering to the forces of the ocean. I don't think it's too much of a big jump to say that within Patrick Lay and his team, his design team, are echoes of what Steve Jobs was after. So one of the features of all of our Tritons is the fact that they can be launched and recovered without people inside the submersible. So the submersible is put into the water, people can be brought over to the sub using a jet ski or a small boat, and at any time, you know, a person can get in or out of the submarine because it has enough freeboard that it's perfectly safe for you to open your hatch when you're on the surface. One of the things we pride ourselves on at Triton Submarines is the versatility of our subs. They can be used as filmmaking platforms, they can be used as science platforms, they can be used for leisure, exploration, uh, they can even be used to assist in, in uh, actual sort of construction or salvage projects. Uh, I believe that, you know, you look at our vehicles and you compare them to anything out there in the marketplace and you're going to very quickly see that you know, no expense is spared when we build our products, and they are by far the, you know, the finest in the industry.